What's up guys and gals, it's the Tyrant here, and today I'm going to give you a basic tutorial in modding Halo Combat Evolved PC. This is not custom edition, this is going to be something very basic, unlike the very elaborate and amazing Halo SPV3. Today I'm going to show you something very simple, and that's how to make your pistol fire tank shells. And you can use this ideology to do numerous things within Halo Combat Evolved. So first up, you're going to need a copy of Halo Combat Evolved PC. You can find these pretty cheap online, even as low as $10. I'd highly recommend purchasing it. It should also be noted here that I'm talking about the Windows version. Unfortunately, I do not know much about Macintosh. So once you have your copy, you're going to want to install it, and, and instantly you're going to want to give it the latest update. Especially if you're using Windows 10, the update is required to even play the game, so you're going to need to be able to do that. When you install the game, I recommend installing it to the desktop rather than the recommended folder, which is the programs folder. The reason you want to do this is for some reason in Windows 10, if you install it on the programs folder, you can't make any changes to it. This is going to matter down the road and I'll explain further in a few minutes. So install it to your desktop. So you should have the Halo folder on your desktop. From there, once the game is installed and updated, you're going to want to go ahead and access your Halo directory and more specifically the maps folder. You want to copy the maps folder into a different location. This is going to be your backup maps folder. I'd recommend just copying it to your desktop. So now you have a backup copy of your maps folder. The reason you want to do this is because if you ever want to revert your changes to a mod, the easiest way to do this without having to completely reinstall the game is simply copy one of your backup map files and replace it in the actual Halo directory. So that way, if you want to revert your changes and play the map normally or just start on a new mod altogether, it's just that simple. There are numerous programs that you can utilize to mod Halo PC, but today we're only going to focus on one, and that's HMT version 3.5 that stands for Halo Map Tools. I'm not going to provide a download link because they do change periodically as sites go in and out. But a simple Google search for HMT version 3.5 should give you exactly what you want. It should also be noted that if you would like, you can install additional plugins for it, but that's not going to be necessary for today's video. All those plugins do are give you additional options for modding Halo Combat Evolved using this program. Once you've downloaded this software, go ahead and open it up. Once you do, just go to File, Open, and navigate to your vanilla Halo Maps directory. Now there are a few things that I do want to point out here. First of all, you may look at the titles of these files and not automatically be able to identify what map they go to. If you're looking to mod a campaign map, the map file isn't going to be named something like the Pillar of Autumn or Truth and Reconciliation. It's going to be given a, a name basically like A10, A30, A50, and so on. And Basically, the numbers and letters go in chronological order, or alphabetical order, if you will. And so as long as you can count to 10, you can figure out what campaign map you want to actually modify. The Pillar of Autumn is A10, and the Maw is D40. Everything else is somewhere in between. In terms of the multiplayer maps, most of them do correspond with their actual map names. Blood Gulch is called Blood Gulch. Sidewinder is called Sidewinder. But there are a couple of ones that stand out, most notably Carousel, which is actually Derelict, and Putt-Putt, which is actually Chiron. My favorite one is Beaver Creek, which is Battle Creek. I find this one funny because in Halo 2, the remake of Battle Creek is actually called Beaver Creek. I think it's a shout out to the mod community, which I think is pretty awesome. Today, we're going to go ahead and select Blood Gulch. So right off the bat, you see that we're given a series of categories. These categories are basically the dividing the tags of the mission into categories themselves. So you have lots of different categories here to choose from. For example, you have a category called bipeds, which are essentially all the character models in that particular map. So you can swap them out if you want to. If you're playing a campaign mission, you, this is how I basically swap out uh, the Master Chief model for an elite or a grunt. You can utilize this same type of ideology for projectiles, which is further down. If you open up the projectiles tab, then you'll see all the projectiles for every weapon. So today we're gonna to do something very simple. We're gonna highlight the tank projectile, and as you can see, when we do, it opens up a different window. From here, you can actually see its actual meta tag. All you wanna do is copy the meta tag, then we're gonna access the magnum or pistol 
tag. Then we're just going to simply paste the tank tag on top of it, replacing it completely, and then we're going to save it. Now you can close out. Now, as you can see, when we open up Halo Combat Evolved and we, open, we access Blood Gulch, when we fire our pistol, now it fires strictly tank shells, which is pretty awesome. This is actually the first mod I ever encountered in Halo PC. And if a person that you're playing with does not have the map file that you modded, then they're going to see the effects of it, like flying vehicles from the explosions, but they're not actually going to be able to see the projectiles. This confused the heck out of me the first time I saw it. But it's what intrigued me to learn more about it and what got me interested in modding Halo to begin with. This is a very basic concept of modding, but it does get you started into the world of modding Halo. And I hope this is something that you found enjoyable today. I do plan on continuing this series down the road, and I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on today's video, and I'd love to hear if you actually try this out for yourself. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, or please feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Dick Tyrant. A link to my Twitter feed can be found in the description below. And I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy day to sit down and watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll consider subscribing for more great content right here on MythicTyrant.com. Thank you guys and gals so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll catch you all right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.